The government is now looking to mandate every phone manufacturer operating in India to make their smartphones compatible with NavIC. But what is NavIC and why are smartphone manufacturers worried about it? The Indian government made the decision to develop an indigenous satellite navigation system in 2006 and a budget of around 1,426 crore was approved. The navigation system, which has been operational since 2018, was initially named the Indian Regional Navigation Satellite System. It was later renamed NavIC by PM Modi. Developed by ISRO, NavIC consists of these eight satellites IRN SS 1A, 1B, 1C, 1D, 1E, 1F, 1G, and IRN SS 1I. It covers India's entire landmass and up to 1500 kilometers from its boundaries. There are plans to increase the number of satellites to 11 to further expand the coverage. Unlike GPS, NavIC satellites use dual frequency bands which allow it to be more accurate compared to GPS which uses a single band. The satellites are situated in a much higher orbital positioned around 36,000 kilometers from Earth, hence the signal is less prone to obstructions. But despite being operational since 2018, we have witnessed very limited use of NAVIC. Currently, it is being used for public vehicle tracking, providing emergency warning alerts to fishermen venturing into the deep sea and tracking and providing information related to natural disasters. NAVIC compatibility is an issue. Phone makers are worried that making their phones NAVIC compatible would mean higher hardware and R&D costs. Besides, the regulatory testing associated with the change would also involve a greater cost and time which in turn could increase the prices for the end consumers. While initial reports suggested that government would mandate smartphone manufacturers to make their phones NAVIC compatible by 2023, the Ministry of Electronics and IT clarified that no timeline has been fixed and the issue is under discussion with all stakeholders. Even if there is a deadline, concerns and challenges remain. NAVIC uses L5 satellite frequency whereas GPS relies on L1 frequency. Most phones in the market today come with chips that support GPS compatible L1 frequency. Making their phones NAVIC compatible could mean introducing a whole new chip or dual band chipsets which support both GPS and NAVIC.